back to Law and You. We're discussing all immigration issues today, so if you have any questions in respect of any aspect of immigration, be it work permits, highly skilled migrant program, business visas, sole representatives, um, political asylum, dependent relatives, marriage, students, any other aspect of immigration, please do give us a call. I'm your host and solicitor, Ms. Sushma Gobindram, and I've got in the studio with me Mr. Monwar Hossein, who's a barrister, and we are both here to answer your um, queries and provide you with all the information that we can. Just before the break, we were actually um, talking about the highly skilled migrant program and the different points that one has to um, obtain in order to qualify for this visa. And I will now um, pass you on to Mr. Hossein to um, elaborate on these. Mr. Hossein. Yes, sir. The first tier of the, de the recent um, plan and program, um, which has been proposed by the uh, Secretary of State, Mrs. Charles Clark, the first tier is going to be highly skilled migration program. Sure. And that is also is in existence. It has been going on this program, and lots of people from abroad, they are already here with the, with with approved HSMP and also with the anti clearance. So once a HSMP application has been approved from this country, from Work Permit UK, they have got specialized team to deal with HSMP applications. Then the person concerned who has got the approval will have to appear before the British High Commission in his or her country to get the entry clearance. If the entry clearance is not allowed, if not granted, obviously there will be right of appeal. Sure. Thank you for that, Mr. Hussain. Um, I think we've got a caller. Hello. Hi. Hello, good afternoon. I just wanted to ask a question. Sure, please do. Uh, pardon, can I go on? Yes, please do. One go second, ahead. I've got another. You've got your mobile ringing there. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Right, how can we help you? Um, I just wanted to ask a question. Uh, I've got a work permit to work with social services. Yes. And uh, uh, I, the work permit says that I can work with Kent Social Services in Kent. Okay. And uh, I want to come down and work in other social services in London. I have right. not yet gone for an interview. Okay. But uh, my work permit is for five years. Will I need to get a new work permit or that can be amended? So is it for another, uh, just another branch with the same employer? or is No, it the employer will change actually. It's a completely new employer. So your new employer will actually need to make an application for a work permit for you. Um, do you want to tell our viewers something yeah, about yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, so somebody is correct uh, actually. Because you are changing employer, the, as far as the uh, work permit guidance is concerned, there is a guideline yes. which yeah. they follow as law. This is not law, but they strictly they follow that guidelines. Okay. You must have to, the employer, the new employer, once you have been appointed or, or they make their mind to appoint you, yeah. they will have to make application. Okay. One thing. Another thing, you can still work part-time. Mm -hmm. If you keep your the current job, you can work for the new employer. Yeah. Up to 20 hours. That's not a problem. Part-time basis, you can work. Okay. But if you work for them full time, and uh -huh. if you leave that job without telling um, the work permit UK, uh -huh. then you your right will be jeopardized. Obviously, your work permit will be invalidated, and then your leave to remain could be cancelled. So what, not to take what, What's your yeah. job title at the moment? I'm, I'm a social worker. Social worker. And are you going to, you're going to go to this new position as a social as worker? As a social worker, so Which yeah. is in effect a transfer of a work permit. So it's not difficult to obtain. Uh -huh. Okay, it's just a simple transfer. Uh -huh. Your new employer will need to make an application to Work Permits UK uh -huh. to transfer the work permit from Kent to your, the, the office in Kent to the one in London. Yeah. Okay, and no advertising will be required because mm -hmm. you're doing a transfer of a work permit application. Okay. Okay. So last time they stamped it for five years. Yes. Uh, will I still hold the same date or they will issue a fresh date when for another whatever year they decide? When the application is made, on the application form it says how long do you um, wish the, how long does the employer wish to um, employ you for? Yeah. How long have you been on the current work permit? I, I'm, I'm, I've, it was for five years. I've used it for two years already. Okay. So what Work Permits UK can do is provide you with a further three years yeah. And at the end of your total four years, you yeah. can apply for permanent residency. Uh, and it wouldn't be considered as a break between the work permits? No, as long as you don't have a break in the sense that you're not working. 
uh -huh. as long as you leave your current employer and go to sorry you leave your current employer and go to your new employer mm -hmm. it's not considered as a break if you're not going That's to true. disappear for six months or something or or go abroad or anything like that mm -hmm. so as long as you continue working and you're working for a period of four years you can apply for permanent residency and just in the last question is that no the new employer just in case something goes wrong and they can't obtain a work permit it will be a london borough uh, but if something goes wrong really yeah uh, will the original work permit still be valid so that i can work in kent yes the uh, the original work permit will still be valid okay yeah. but if your if your transfer is um if the new work permit is refused mm -hmm. then you can still continue to work under the under your old work permit providing your employer is willing to employ you is, is, is willing to continue to employ you because, yeah, because Kent, um, I, uh, Kent have said that if I want to retire in Kent, they can do. I can do that. And I mean, they would uh, like to have me indefinitely. They would like to have you indefinitely. Okay, yeah. so as long as they are willing to keep you on, mm -hmm. then work permits will not have a problem because you've, you're obviously on a work permit at the moment, and you've shown that you do qualify mm -hmm. with either relevant um, experience or educational qualifications. Mm -hmm. So that won't be an issue. Mm -hmm. um, so as long as. Um, you know, if, if you make the application, why are you worried that the transfer will not go through? No, it won't. I mean, I'm just worried because I, I do want to get a permanent uh, residency because that will help me change job when I wish. At the sure. moment, I have to think about a job twice before I apply, really. Yes, sure, definitely. So I think, um, you know, if, if it's done in the correct manner, mm -hmm. then there shouldn't be a problem with the transfer of work permit mm -hmm. because it's quite straightforward if it's in a similar position. Mm -hmm. and. Um, the employer is willing to employ you and they're willing to provide all the documents to confirm that they are trading, mm -hmm. then there should be no problem in that at all. Okay, then. Thanks a lot. Okay. Really. Thanks for the all help. Right, all right. All the best. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Okay, I think, uh, yes. So um, that's the thing. I mean, mm -hmm. if, if people want to transfer work permits, it's obviously much easier if it's in the same position. Um, then it's, it's, it's not a problem. So if, if, you are, if, if you're a person on a work permit and you are looking to um, transfer your work permit, then as long as your new employer is willing to employ you, they've, yeah, got, yeah, evidence yeah. That, um, they've got evidence of trading, such as accounts, um, annual report, um, utility bills, invoices, VAT registration documents, lease agreement, inland revenue documents, and they can show that they are trading, then um, there's no problem in them obtaining the work permit and if it's just a, a straightforward transfer whereby you're, you're in the same job then the new employer does not even need to um, advertise the position because it's just a straightforward transfer if an employer is applying for a new work permit um, and it's a, a not a transfer of a work permit for instance if you're changing your field then um, the question of um, advertising and so on um, would come into play but um, not otherwise so um, Mr. Hussain that was quite an interesting question that yeah. we had um, is there any other area of immigration you would like to tell our viewers about well we talked about a sector which scheme we talked about um, SSMP and work permit the, the last caller who called is a uh, skilled work permit criteria yeah. actually, and the social worker also comes under the shortage occupation as far as I know within yes, the shortest list. Sure. That's why the um, probably the um, employer did not have to advertise. Exactly. So there should be no problem for him. As far as the teachers are concerned, uh, they can come under the skilled criteria. Mm -hmm. uh, but people think, well, UK government is asking for teacher to come over here and can get job because there are so many vacancies all over the UK in many schools. Yes. But they should understand, the applicant should understand one thing. Straight away, they're not going to get a job in any school. They'll have to be qualified, like doctors and nurses. Yeah. They can come here to qualify. There are so many natural options. Like doctors can come here to appear in CLEV exam, to do postgraduate courses, like same as dentist. They can come over here. And during their stay, they can complete their studies. They can come as a um, um, highly skilled, under the highly skilled migration program, they can also come. But within their first 12 months duration, they will have to find proper job. Yeah. And within this time, in order to get a proper job, they will have to be qualified. Sure. For example, one teacher, she has got masters from Pakistan or Bangladesh, and she is here now. 
under the highly skilled migration program. No school is going to employ him or her. What she or he needs to do to, to, to complete a course to be qualified in this country, being a teacher. Sure. So within, within 12 months time, if it is not possible within 12 months time, still the time could be that leave to remain could be extended. Because once somebody is here under, sector, under highly skilled migration program, provided he or she can show that she has done a lot to find a proper job and to be qualified, and she has got a still prospect sure. to be employed. So even if, even if um, you're a highly skilled migrant um, applicant in the UK and you haven't found yourself a job um, in the first 12 months, as long as you've, um, as Mr. Hussein has said, as long as you've made the effort and you've, yeah. got, uh, you've made the effort and, you, and you've tried your level best to find a job, it's not um, impossible to get an extension as long as you have, you can, you've, sh you've kept evidence, you've kept copies of emails or interview letters or application forms um, with you to confirm that you know you have made these applications, you have gone to these interviews, you have made the effort to um, prolong your stay in the UK and, and find yourself um, a suitable position, then you know it's not possible to actually... Um, it's, yeah, it's, to it's turn down the application. No, oh, so yeah. um, if you are a highly skilled migrant and, and you've tried your level best to obtain an extension, and to find yourself a position, then there should be no problem in um, obtaining the extensions, which is um, for a further three years. The, f the first initial period is granted for a period of 12 months, which can be extended for a further period of three years. And, and during that time, um, um, there shouldn't be a problem in uh, finding another job. Um, we do get a lot of callers on, uh, asking about student visas and um, what the requirements are for that. Do you want to tell our viewers something about that? Yeah, a student uh, must have to have offers from a college or university or sure. a school, whatever, from this country. And um, if the offer is from an institution which is recognized in this country... has to be a bona fide, yeah, bona fide, bona fide institution. And also the course has to be recognized as well. Yes. Then there's not a problem. Secondly, there must be accommodation and maintenance criteria and also the funding criteria that she, he or she can fund the studies to sure. pay for the fees. Sure. So need to have a sponsor, have a sponsor. Right. Okay, I think we've got a call, Mr. Mon Mr. Monomer. Um, uh, I'll go to the caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, uh, I've got an inquiry uh, regarding my work permit. Sure, how can we I help? I came uh, to London about... Uh, seven years back as yeah. a full-time student. Okay. Then about two years back, I changed uh, my visa to a work permit, which is TWS work permit, training work permit. Okay. And uh, I'm working with my employer. My TWS is expiring uh, in September. Okay. I just want to check how can I extend uh, my TWS visa. I've got my wife here as well. Right, okay. Who wants to study, uh, start, uh, start her studies uh, in September for her MSc Masters in Economics as well. Okay, is she here as uh, your dependent? She's here as my dependent. And how long have you spent in the UK in total? In total, it's going to be about seven and a half years seven until and September. Seven and a half years, okay. Because uh, when you're on a TWES, okay, if yeah. you're on a TWES um, for more than 12 months, yeah. So if you've been on a TWES for 24 months, you, yeah. you can't um, switch to a full work permit. Okay. Okay, so that wouldn't be an option for you. Mm -hmm. um, so the fact that you've been here seven and a half years um, would not really qualify you for residency because if you're here legally, you've got to be here 10 years. Yeah. Okay. But I don't want to uh, claim the residency. The only thing is I want to stay here because my wife wants to study as well. Your wife wants to study as well and she's here as a dependent. Yeah, well, she's maybe applying for different universities and she'll hopefully get, uh, get a admission in uh, some university sure. for her master's. So sure. So it may be possible for her to apply for a student visa and for you to apply to remain as her dependent. Um, do you want to elaborate a bit more on this? Yeah, um, yeah, uh, I yeah, I think the caller said that he came to this country as a student. Yes. And uh, because uh, he, the caller came to this country as a student, and because he has done a degree level course, probably, yeah. I can assume. So I, mean, I haven't I finished yet. I'm doing CMO, which is Chartered Manager and Accountancy. Okay. So you haven't finished your course yet? I'm still on the level. I've got two papers still left, and then I've got a final. Sure. So if you haven't finished your degree level course, yeah. you can't switch to work permit scheme that's the problem in order to, I, if you came to this country as a student yeah 
He, he's on a twelve at the moment. But but the original status was in clearance was a student. Yeah. We can rely on that. Sure. that there will be some flexibility, obviously, because he can uh, because he can still go back to student status again. Sure. There should be no problem. So students are only allowed to switch once they have finished their degree course, not before that. That's a new rule. Yeah, so because, because you've actually been here as a student and then you've applied f as a TWES, okay. Okay, one of the options would be to actually switch um, as a dependent if your wife is looking to apply to study. Okay, okay. Is, that, is that possible with a TWES? Well, it's not within the immigration rules, but it's at the Home Office's discretion. Okay. Okay, so it's something that... Um, W an application that would have to be made. Unfortunately, we're going to break now, okay? Um, oh, I think we're actually um, finishing the program. I'm very sorry. If you can call back um, next week, um, I'll be here, same time, same place, here to answer your questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Hussein, for Thank coming on much. the program. And hope to see you, same time, same place, next week. Bye bye. So, I'm going to